My family is actually from the province of Bawan, Batangas, and the recipe that I'm actually share, uh, I'm sharing with you today um, is a family heirloom recipe that has been handed down from at least, I would say, four generations. Um, and, you know, this is what you call the Batangas adobo. Um, it's a different kind of adobo in such a way that it's actually cooked in vinegar. Actually, has this taste that, you know, will, will, basic, will basically blow up in your mouth. Okay, so what I have here is um, less than a kilo of pork. So first we put salt, all right? And then of course we add pepper. And then, so this is soy sauce. And you're just going to add just a little bit, like right around one teaspoon. And then I would say with vinegar, we put give or take right around three, four cups. And then we basically massage the meat and let it marinate for about 30 minutes. So you just put about, um, I'd say, one half teaspoons of panado seeds, and then you pour in hot water. Um, so the water that you can add, give or take about three, four cups. Okay, so now I guess we're um, ready to cook. So we're gonna put garlic. The garlic is now golden brown. We're gonna take marinated meat. You just take the meat and then you put it in. It's not advisable for you to, to basically you know, saute it and mix it. So you just let it simmer. Okay. As you can see, oh my god, it smells good. It actually smells great. And you use a strainer to basically make sure that you do not put the annatto seeds and add it into the into what you're cooking. And of course, let's just let it just uh, simmer some more. And then you add the marinade. You get all the flavor. It's going to let it simmer until it dries up. Just make sure that you're on low fire and just let it simmer until, you know, um, there's no more sauce. Um, it'll take probably about an hour. All right, okay, so I think we are good to go. So now, here's the next step. So I'm actually gonna drain this because as you can see, there's the sauce, right? Um, um, even if, you know, the, the meat is already tender. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain it. Okay, so, so what we're going to do next is to actually toast the meat. Got that garlic, it's golden brown. And now we are going to add the pork. The grain pork. At this point, we're gonna toast the pork. I'll have to add a little bit of water. Just, you know, um, mix it, and, you know. If you wanna be on the healthier side, um, you know, I would suggest uh, less fat. Or, you know, if you don't want fat, then, you know, that's fine too, right? This is family recipe of the double. Still, the best part of cooking is actually that point when your loved ones start tasting what you cooked. That's actually what drives me, you know, to cook. Um, and I just hope that you like this recipe and I do, I do hope that you enjoy uh, the taste once you're able to cook it, once you try it. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for this opportunity.